go. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi guys. Um, we thought uh, we've been getting a lot of questions lately about building muscle and losing weight and what's better and how do you do it? Do you lose weight first? Do you build muscle at the same time? And what's the difference and between the, the two? And what's the difference? So we thought we would do a video called Lo the difference between losing weight and building muscle. Yeah. <laughs> and keep in mind, this is how we currently do it and this is how we this is like basically how our journey played out how we figured it out for our own body this is a massive subject this yeah. once you once you've lost weight or you're losing weight and you're thinking about um, putting on some muscle you get to that point and everybody does where you ask yourself can i do both of these at the same time now you've gotten to the point where you've asked the question this is the biggest question in the world of fitness and weight loss can i put on muscle and lose weight at the same time um and the answer is the answer is no a simple answer is no you can't um we have to get into more specifics about what your goals are and what you're talking about a lot of people get freaked out um when they lose they start losing weight and they're like okay i want to put on some muscle all of a sudden they start lifting weights and the scale stops going down. You have to understand the difference um, between losing body fat. Do you want to um, shape your body differently and put on muscle and lose body fat? Or do you just want to see a number on the scale go down? If your answer is, I just want to see a number on the scale go down, then probably you shouldn't be lifting weights at all. No. So if you're, if you're just looking to be slim or thin or whatever, um, then probably cardio and very, very minimal or no weights at all. Um, because if you want to see the number go down on the scale and you want to see a low number on the scale when you weigh yourself, then that is losing weight. That is cardio, eating balanced, and that's that. That's how you lose weight and stay small. If you're talking about losing body fat, now body fat is different than just losing weight. When you're building muscle and you're losing body fat, your body fat percentage will go down, your muscle number will go up, and your weight may stay the same or it might go up. And that's why we say no, it's not possible to lose weight and build muscle because no. Muscle weighs twice as much as fat. So can you lose body fat and build muscle at the yes. same time? Yes. It is extremely, extremely hard to do, but it is possible. Yeah. And we're still figuring out that process for our bodies as we speak. And this yeah. will be, you know, it could take years and we're always learning. We're always tweaking our diet. Mm -hmm. The thing with, with building muscle is you have to keep changing it up and that's hard for someone our brains like ours that have come from, well, this is exactly how I lost weight and it worked, you know, for, for years and it got, you know, most of our weight off. So why can't I just apply that to building muscle and staying lean? Yeah. It we, doesn't work that way. It's not the same thing. We get stuck in a routine like, okay, this is working. So now we can do this for the rest of our life. But really to have kept the weight off as long as we have and to put on muscle, which we've been doing and we're continuing to do and we notice changes in our bodies every day, um, we've had to change continuously to be able to keep off and maintain and our weight. We've had to um, change the focus in our mind from just seeing a low number on the scale to looking in the mirror for our guidance. Um, let the mirror be your judge if you're looking to put on muscle because the scale, the number will kind of deceive you a bit. You'll be, if you're lifting weights um, and you're going to be shaping your body, you're going to be sculpting, things are going to get rounder and your waist might look smaller because your shoulders got bigger or look in the mirror and, and go for the, the look and, and train for the look you want versus being so obsessed about that number on the scale. Because when you get into muscle building, it's the number is kind of irrelevant, I, yeah. I guess. I weigh more than I did um, last year, but 
I have more muscle and less body fat than I did. So I'm about seven pounds heavier than I was, but my clothes are smaller, I have more muscle, and my body is more shapely. So um, I'm smaller, but I'm not, um, I'm not the same weight. I'm a, I'm a heavier weight, but I'm smaller. And we see why it's confusing to yeah. everyone because it's it was really confusing for us to to have your whole goal in life. When we were, you know, I was 300 pounds plus, almost you know, 360 something, and Nicole was close to 300. Every week, our success or failure was guided by that number going down or not. Yeah. And once you switch over from just losing weight to muscle building, that really plays with your head when it doesn't go down, but yeah. you like the way you look and you're wearing smaller clothes and you're a notch smaller on your belt, but the scale's not showing that. It's kind of, it's it's very confusing and it, it, you know, it plays games with your mind a bit. Yeah, it was really hard to see the number on the scale go up and then look in the mirror and see that I was smaller, but it didn't make sense because the scale said I was heavier, but I was lower in body fat and I had a higher muscle percentage. And now I, I have a lot more muscle than I ever have and I'm building more each day. And it, now I'm okay with seeing the scale heavier because I understand that it's muscle, it's yeah, not fat. Me too. Um, so yeah, th what you need to do immediately is figure out what your goals are and then go from there. If your goal is to do what Kyle and I have done, meaning lose a ton of weight and keep it off and build muscle, um, then your goals are going to be different than if it's just to be smaller. So th this is, like we said, it's a huge subject matter. So we're not going to be able to cover everything yeah. in this one video. We'll probably do more in the future and we'll, we'll talk about it. You know, we usually talk about it in our full days of eating and, and whatnot, but you want to go through like some of the, just a couple small differences between just losing weight and putting on muscle and losing body fat. Yeah. So if you're, if you're going to just lose weight, um, you need to basically cardio and HIIT training is really good for, you know, getting you to lose weight. And for losing weight, long cardio sessions are fine. Yes. Because yeah. you're looking at burning calories. Um, you're looking at burning more calories than you take in. So long, um, that's one, one difference is yeah. your cardio. When you're just losing weight, long sessions are fine. If you're trying mm -hmm. to build muscle, long cardio sessions will set you back. Long cardio sessions will eat your muscle. You're not going to be able to maintain or put on muscle with long cardio. So no. one of the focuses that we have now for building muscle, we still uh, want to keep our body fat low, but we do HIIT training. Um, fasted cardio in the morning. So we keep the session short, 15, 20, 25 minutes maximum for muscle building and fat mm -hmm. loss versus when we were losing weight, we were, we were doing like 45 minutes of walking yeah. an hour, an hour day. and a half every single day when we're just losing weight. But yep. and it was working for it was us working, to lose but weight. And eventually when we got to a point where we didn't like the way our bodies looked anymore, even with the weight off, like we were proud of ourselves and happy we lost the weight, but we wanted to add muscle. So we figured out we had to kind of change our training method, you know, with the cardio. Yeah. So you, to lose weight also a difference is that if you're doing just cardio, you're not going to probably need to take in as much protein as someone building muscle. Um, you know, maybe have a major source of protein at your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But any more than that, you're probably not going to need it. Whereas if you're building muscle, you need to be taking in a lot more protein, generally one gram of protein per pound of body weight. And the reason for that is when you're just doing cardio and just losing weight, your 45 minute cardio session is burning calories just for that 45 minutes. When you're weight training and lifting weights, you're burning calories for hours and hours after your weight training session. So you need to fuel accordingly because, uh, yeah, um, you're burning calories even 
after you go home and after a 45 minute weight training session, you sit on the couch, your body's burning calories, burning, 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 because your muscles oh. are trying to repair themselves. So exactly. you need to eat different, right? That's what I was going to say is that your body will also need more protein because when you are lifting weights, you're basically tearing your muscles and the protein is going to help them rebuild themselves and add muscle on top of that. So yes, not as much um, protein if you're going to be doing just cardio and also if you're just going to be doing cardio then you'll want like a balanced diet or you can choose to take in lower carbs throughout the week and then have a treat meal at the end of the week um, you know that would be all right for you so How, yeah. the difference though when you're building muscle is that for us and this is all like Kyle said before this is all from our experience and our opinion so it might not work for everyone, but we we need to eat a lot more carbs um, than we did when we were losing weight so in that, order to build. Yeah, muscle. that, that kind of leads in. Let's talk about that one more point um, for this video today. Let's talk about the difference in carbs just from losing weight and um, when you're just trying to lose weight versus building muscle. Carbohydrate differences of yeah. how we eat now versus before. For one thing, what I noticed, and I think you said you noticed it too, is that when we were losing weight, we were eating like all whole grain stuff, brown rice, yeah. whole grain bread. Um, now to build muscle, we try to eat just like gluten-free carbs like and um, like oats and like white, like rice and stuff like that. But I found when I wanted to build muscle, eating whole grain rice or brown rice and eating oats post-workout they weren't doing anything for building my muscle for building muscle you need to replenish that um you need to replenish your energy very quickly so a slow digesting carb will actually set you back when you're burning muscle yeah. that's just post-workout so there's like tons of, of um, details here that we're not going to be able to cover all in uh, you know one video but no. that's one carb difference you need when you're losing weight, you don't really need fast acting carbs. When you're building muscle, you, you do. You need to time them properly, but you do need fast acting carbohydrates. So yes, but you need to put those around your workout. Yeah. Which is why it's such a, a big question and answer. Okay. So one last, uh, before we end this video, um, one last quick, um, difference between how we eat to build muscle and how we eat to lose weight. Cheat days. No cheat days. Um, you don't need a full cheat day when you're just losing weight. Um, like I said earlier in the video, if you wanted to have a little less carbs throughout the week and then have a treat meal, yeah. that's fine, but it needs to be a portioned meal um, and you really need to watch your serving sizes and everything for that. Um, if you're building muscle, you are burning glycogen a lot faster and you will need to replenish that. So you'll need probably a bigger cheat meal yeah. or a cheat day, depending on where you are and if it works for your body. For Kyle and I, a cheat meal no longer worked, but a full cheat day does work. And we notice our muscles growing so much faster now yeah. that we do that. Um, yes, yeah, so you just, you need to, if you are choosing to lose weight and you you're not ready or you don't feel like you can handle a, a treat meal then i suggest never deny yourself just because you think you want to be or you know you want to be smaller and lose weight you still don't deny yourself treats have a couple treats throughout the week have a cup of ice cream or half a cup of ice cream or a cup of cereal or whatever you're craving but only one or two times a week and have you know one portion yeah. serving of it so as long as you're not denying yourself, you won't set yourself up for failure. Yeah. So yeah, you guys know we'll uh, talk back and forth with you and leave your comments below, ask your questions, and uh, we'll be you know com you know having conversations back and forth. And we'll make more of these videos in the future. But we just want to cover some of the basic differences between um, how we just lost weight and how we're eating now to build muscle and stay lean. Yeah. So we hope you guys learn from this video and we hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like us and check us out on Instagram. And don't forget the most important thing. And you know what that is. <laughs> you know about these?
This time you're getting two. And he didn't even know. One, two, three, go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys. Bye.